Today on the go, we're traveling into the future. One year to be exact. This is the 2015 Hyundai Genesis. It's the closest thing you can get to a robot car without Michael Bay destroying your childhood. The Genesis has a 9.2 and 7.3 HD touchscreen navigation system, which means it makes it really easy to find your future friends. The trunk is fully powered. Also has proximity sensors, which means that if your hands are full and you stand in front of it, It'll actually open for you. Very futuristic. Seriously though, some of the tech in this car is straight out of the year 2015. It has adaptive HIDs. LED fog lights. It has huge rear seats. 17 speaker electron sound system. Huge and cool front seats. Multi-angle backup camera with trajectory. It has Google Glass integration and adaptive cruise control. But don't worry, it also sends departure times to your smartphone via Google Maps. It also has 420 horsepower with a V8 and sport tuned suspension. A long time ago, in 1885, someone named Carl Benz decided he was going to invent the car. So he did. This scared everyone because technology was made by witches and the devil. One day, someone said, let's put a horse head on top of the car to make people less scared of cars. It turns out that horse heads on cars is still scary. As time went on, people got used to cars, and they started to invent technology to make them better. Like an in-car record player, and something called a chin alarm but none of them worked. In the 1950s, cars got safer because of seat belts. In the 1970s, cars got more dangerous because of primitive airbags and Ford Pintos. In the 80s, cars came with CD players. In the 90s, the Oldsmobile 88 was the first car with navigation. Mercedes introduced emergency brake assist in 1998, and the Acura TL was the first car with Bluetooth in 2003. In 2005, tests began on self-driving cars, and by 2013, nearly every major manufacturer started building their own autonomous car. In 2024, cars became self-aware, and in 2031, humans became the main fuel source. They wiped out the entire human race. Not only is the Hyundai Genesis more affordable than most luxury cars, it's also safer. It uses Hyundai's newly developed anonymous emergency braking system to detect potential accidents and apply full brakes up to 80 kilometers an hour. It also has a lane keeping system that can prevent the driver from veering into an adjacent lane. And most futuristic of all, it has the world's first in-cabin CO2 sensor. It prevents driver drowsiness by adjusting the O2 level in the cabin. And there's much more expensive vehicles out there that don't prevent you from falling asleep. So all in all, this car really is from the future. I can only imagine what they have planned for 2016.